Molweni, Sani Wonani, Tamela, Abushini, A. Welcome or welcome back to African Hosa A S M R. So, a while back, like a long time ago, I made a video titled Stereotypes about Africa and it was an ASMR video. I made that video a while back and now I was like, there are a lot of stereotypes about different tribes, different cultures and different Africans. So if you're from a different African country, there are stereotypes associated with that. And if you're South African or a different tribe within a country, for example, like we have Kosa people, Zulu people, Swati people, Ndebele people, Vendor people, there are also stereotypes um, associated with that. So today I thought it would be worthwhile to explore those, but to kickstart this series i think we should start with the Kosa people obviously because you know african Kosa asmr just in case you don't recall um so in today's video we're going to be covering um stereotypes about Kosa people and you let me know your opinions and everything on these stereotypes if you're south african do you agree with them do you not and all that and if you're not south african and you're hearing them like what's your take what's your opinion on them do they sound crazy to you or like i would like to hear your thoughts don't forget to like comment share subscribe um super thanks click the join button to become an exclusive member of the closer asmr gang now with all that being said let's get started so there is an article that i'll be reading to you guys the article was published on the 18th of august in 2019 and it's a two minute read I must be slow a bit or pause a bit because this is ASMR after all but I'm just gonna try my best to be fast or slow rather because it's ASMR um, it's titled keeping up with the horses keeping up with the horses which is a comedy show that crushes Kosa stereotypes it reads the comedian Ndumiso the rooster Lindy says Kosa people are the coisins of the southern tribe, often stereotyped as being dramatic, snobbish, fake, and obsessed with money. To challenge these views, he and fellow comedians have created a show that debunks, explores, and laughs at some of Shh, I think my name is cooking. Let's just okay, I think the sound is gone. Uh, where was I? To challenge these views, he and fellow comedians have created a show that debunks, explores, and laughs at some of the crazier perceptions if you check out trending topics and conversations on social media and on the streets there is always closer people this closer people that closer people this closer people that everybody is just obsessed with closer people apparently um so and then um, closer people this, closer people that, closer ladies are gold diggers, 
Crosser people are liars, Linda said. These things will come out on stage, which is why we are the coisins of the southern tribes. We are always on topic. We need to cover these stereotypes and crush them. The show Keeping Up with the Crossers will be held at and they mention the name of the place because everyone knows uh, that Midrand is like a small Eastern Cape. He said the show would uh, be a mix of closer and English. So and then he went on, he goes on to, um, to explain more about it. The show um, features Xhosa comedians, including a daily show contributor, Loiso Matinga, and the former teacher, Ukanye Sabunu. Matinga joined the hit US TV comedy show hosted by Trevor Noah um, last year. He said he would use the Voter World opportunity to share his love of the Xhosa culture. Once again, if you do not know Xhosa, why does it not Xhosa? If you do not know Trevor, Trevor Noah is half Xhosa. He has a Xhosa mother and um, a Xhosa Xhosa grandmother as well, a Xhosa mother and a white Swiss father and he also um, can speak fluent Xhosa because he grew up with his mother's side of the family. He would sometimes visit his father as well and um, he sometimes like on stage talk about Xhosas and his upbringings um, growing up being closer and all that so yeah with all that being said now this was posted on social media facebook to be exact and i just want to go through the comments and what people have got to say um, about it the the post was posted on the 31st of august in 2019 at 746 on Facebook and it says closer people are often stereotyped as being dramatic snobbish fake and obsessed with money and then it had 79 shares and then um, there are people who commented and the first comment that I'm seeing says um, they have the most beautiful women in Africa and this is one of a stereotype that is well known that Kosa culture has some of the most beautiful women in the world and that um, they're very beautiful and super respectful as well and ooh, Miss Universe for example Zozi Bini Tunzi is a Hosa girl who was born in Utsolo in the Eastern Cape province of South Africa and she is Unungoni Azotiwa Kuba Sitezwe in Kosazan Sosia Salan Mam Tolo So um Zozibini Nungun Azotiwa Kuba Zitewe in Kosa Zitezwe in Kosazana Atunzi is South African she's considered very beautiful and she was Miss South Africa and she also won Miss universe this is what Zuzibini Tunzi looks like closer women are also stereotype of being naturally like beautiful you don't need makeup you don't need anything to insinuate their features or anything like that so very beautiful and Zuzibini Tunzi is a natural girl who just keeps her hair short and cut and absolutely gorgeous and then the next comment says I love Xhosa people, not to mention Cape Colored people share the same lineage with them. One big happy family. And then the next one says, Xhosa ladies have so much love, kindness and are funny as hell, not forgetting 
their beauty and if you go on tiktok you might notice that a lot of like tiktok comedians uh who are south africans mostly belong to the poster culture the Xhosa culture and then um the next comment says being a Xhosa is a full-time job i think the government should set aside a fund to pay this tribesmen every month they keep the nation entertained um once again there's another stereotype that says not a south african um or Xhosa people are natural born entertainers you can never be bored when you're surrounded by a closer person they're super funny super entertaining and super fun to be um to be around and there is um, a, a show that's called south african idols based on the american idols but then they created like the south african version of it it's called south african idols and one of the presenters they unati Unati made a comment and I'm paraphrasing Unati is a Xhosa like singer and she made a comment that say that says that like the the Xhosas who entered African idols are killing it and every now every year after year Xhosa people and idols keep entertaining keep winning keep like doing the things that makes for the parts to be done so it's and then she got a lot of backlash for saying that um like we are united we are a country how dare you say that she got a lot of backlash for that i'm not sure if she apologized but for making that comment she got a lot of backlash but it's um it's a stereotype that because the people are really entertaining and they're super funny you can never like not have a good time or like lift you have your spirit lifted up when you're surrounded by closer people and then um there is a comment that says tribalism will never end and will remain the number one tool used to keep us oppressed mara enjoy insulting each other kubekani which means continue and then a sleeping emoji exactly exactly and then the next comment says ha khosa people are loving and asiko isizwe esingayithandi imali ubedela amaxhosa nje lona which translates to Xhosa people, Xha, Xha means like I totally disagree with the statement. Xhosa people are loving people. The statement that people, Xhosa people, blah blah, that comment, the initial comment on the Facebook post, the person says Xha, which means no, I don't agree with the initial statement that was made. And then he says he agrees with the fact that Xhosa people are loving, and um, there is no nation that does not love money. The person who wrote that statement is going cuckoo for writing that. So yeah, that's what that person says. And then this one once again, a food for thought. It says tribalism at its best. And the sad part is that judging from some comments, some people have an issue with my tribe. Kunzi ma emklabeni senzeni na. The last part meaning that hey um it's tough out in these streets what did closer people do to deserve this hatred and then um a closer guy says i'm a closer guy and i love money that's why my bank account is able to sustain my lifestyle i am not ashamed that i love money money makes the world move forward and then the next comment says kodwa into enye ngithi ingqondo siyakwazi ukuyisebenzisa which means one thing i will say about us is that we're very smart people we know how to use our brain and then um 
then the other one says madiba on the paper hence the pun nelson kholihlahla tali bonga mandela who is also kosa born in a township outside of mtata Irkunu in the eastern cape province of south africa and then um it says does that perhaps maybe mean money loves Tosa women instead okay and then others the other one says south african money has a Tosa man on it you can't blame us for liking money it's in our blood the south african money has nelson Holishasha, Talibunga Mandela, the former black, very first black democratic president of South Africa. And this is what the money looks like. And then the other ones, uh, Azola puts um, in, um, in, in, in quotes, snobbish, fake and obsessed with money, fire thus right drinking at work should not be allowed at times live kini teaser si pina apa si kile um which means like we are saying they're snobbish you're saying they're fake you're saying that obsessed with money like are you okay are you right in the head you must be like drunk or something you shouldn't be allowed to drink at work because you're obviously drunk when you're posting this at work um teaser which is an exclamation behind bo like wow that's wild uh where are we here why are you like treating us like this why are you disrespecting us like that mm. so these are some of the comments that i've seen on the first part of this statement and um before i go i didn't know any of these stereotypes honestly speaking that was up until i was moving to japan and i was waiting with other south africans at the at the airport for us to fly together because the japanese embassy organized a flight for all of us is the japanese the japanese government organized a flight for all of us together so as we were waiting there we were chatting with other people and they're saying where they're from blah 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 so these people that i'm, I'm talking with they t they introduce themselves and they mention where they are they're like they're from uh they're from venda and this is their names and blah 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 they went to school here and there and then i introduced myself i'm like hey i'm cv where i'm close i went to school here and there and they were like they didn't care about everything else i said they were like you are closer yo you are closer girls and money closer girls love money so much and i was like what it was actually my first time hearing about that and i don't know honestly speaking i do not agree with the stereotypes i think it's everything is based on a human being like it's based on an individual so if you want to do this we want to do that or you're behaving like that so we're behaving like that it's based on you and who you are and uh stereotypes typically break us up like tribalism at its best i agree with that um comment because if you are this culture or you're in this community you behave you are expected to behave that way and if not behaving the way they you are expected of based on these stereotypes then you are fake or if you don't behave that way then you are ostracized or they don't treat you the same as other people because that's what everybody has been programmed to think um anyway my battery is about to die i think we should call it a video let me know your thoughts down below it is without a doubt and quite evident that i am proudly south african i am a proud hossa women with respect for all cultures let us love respect and honor one another here is a list of proudly south african proudly hosa south african leaders and heroes who made an 
impact, huge, great impact in our lives as a country. Thank you and good night.